This is our question. Should we continue with this research since there is a large penalty if we make an error, and that is the complete extinction for everyone on this planet? Should this uh, research then continue with these vast energies in the uh, physics laboratory? We're setting then uh, uh, new laboratory records for energies found on Earth. Can we then uh, find another way of looking at this then uh, where en energies then can be uh, approximated by computer simulation rather than facing the extinction of our entire species? We need your help then in this connection to please bring this word of public engagement to the notice of the general public. We, mo we most generally then ask for a request uh, for a moratorium on this highest energy physics research until a refutation of uh, this conceptual framework is published in a peer-reviewed journal of uh, the highest repute. A philosophical position, then, may be cited from the work of Hegel. There is no essential existence which does not manifest itself. The very large energies derived from Will and the Sitter for the equations describing the false vacuum of the Sitter space yield an energy density of 1.69 times 10 to the 126 electron volts per cubic centimeter. Also, if we note here in terms of these energies uh, in uh, terms of temperature, we have five times, for the sitter space, we have five times 10 to the 31 uh, degrees Kelvin. Uh, that would be uh, the temperature of the center space, and also in terms of the density, it's uh, three times 10 to the 93 grams per cubic centimeter. Thus, we can convert these values uh, by the well-known equation of E equals mc squared, uh, the well-known equation then of Albert Einstein. This energy then, this vast amount of energy, would then find expression in the observable universe. In the sense of this analysis, then, it would be quite unlikely that these energies, the energies of this magnitude, would remain hidden should a transition be formed in the potential barrier to the center space. This would then serve as an immediate and ever-present danger for the investigator and constitutes, then, a public endangerment as well. This is then based on the mainstream theory of universe formation by Professor R. Gott of Princeton University, in which every bubble universe forms smoothly out of the sitter space. A potentially infinite number of universes may form in the sitter space. In a topological sense, the sitter space is coordinate that is touching at each point with the continuum from our universe. The sitter space is then prevented by a large potential barrier from forming an intrusional event into our continuum. The essential hypothesis of this formulation is that with sufficient energy that is found at the CERN, in this case, a classical breach in the potential barrier towards the center space will be formed, thus releasing the force of a type 1a supernova upon the terrestrial ecosphere, the solar system, and those nearby stars. These energies then are from the center space. Therefore, the energies of the accelerator, that would be at CERN, only serve as a trigger for their release. With sufficient energy under this postulation, we discovered that the accelerator is in the Einstein to center universe, and is now termed, and we have gone from particle physics as our guiding theory to relativistic cosmology. No harm then, again, in terms of uh, 
uh, position here, no harm will result from computer modeling of this uh, hypothesis. And uh, no harm then will result from examining this in further detail uh, because we could then uh, take our result as a theory rather than actual practice, rather than empirical confirmation then of the existence of the sitter space. It's well understood then by physicists as you talk to them in, uh, in everyday life, you say to the physicist, uh, uh, are you familiar with these vast energies in the center space? And the, the reply inevitably is then that they, we are familiar uh, with these vast energies in the center space. So it's not a, uh, not a hypothesis which is unknown. It's a, an observed uh, conclusion then from their reading of uh, standard physics, uh, vast energies reside uh, in the center space. The question is then, how would they continue with this research uh, should uh, these energies be released? And the answer would be then there would be no further research. This would be then uh, an experiment where there would be no, no observers. We might call this then the uh, experimentum secundus. Uh, if you will, it's the second form of the experiment where you do uh, your normal experiment, uh, but at the end of your experiment, there's uh, no one there to look at it. So. We